indignable nature for whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. 1 John chapter 5 verse 4. A similar verse to our opening scripture is 1 John chapter 4 verse 4. It says, Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you, than he that is in the world. We also read something just as inspiring and enthralling from Peter in his second epistle. Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 4. How about Paul? Read what he pens for us by the Spirit in Romans chapter 8 verses 35 to 39. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, our distress, our persecution, our famine, or nakedness, our peril, our sword, nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us? For I am persuaded, that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature, shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. The apostles, in stating these truths, were affirming the life we have in Christ, a life of dominion over Satan, the world, and its systems. The Christian is unconquerable. You're a victor in Christ Jesus. You rule and reign in life through him. You could never fail. Hallelujah. The Lord Jesus also spoke about your impregnable nature. He said, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Luke 10 19. In Mark 16 18, he said you shall take up serpents, and if you drink any deadly thing, it'll have no effect on you. When you lay hands on the sick, they shall recover. What a life. You have overcome the world. Distressing situations may come from the enemy, but be unflustered. In Christ, you've already been made triumphant. Now thanks be unto God, which always causeth us to triumph in Christ. 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 14. Train yourself in this consciousness. Prayer, Confession Blessed be God. I'm unconquerable, a victor in Christ Jesus. I rule and reign in life through Christ. I've overcome the world in its deception, failure, hatred, corruption, decadence and limitation. Christ reigns and rules in my life. That's my assurance of a life of ever-increasing greatness, glory and grace, in Jesus' name. Amen. Further study Romans chapter 5 verse 17. 1 John chapter 5 verses 4 to 5.